uh, these are being posthumous. This is Hisako Hiki's work. Some people may have known no her work. There's a recent um, uh, exhibit that's touring around Hisako Hiki and Ruta Sawa. No, I mean, no, oh, no, sorry. Hisako Hiki, Hiki Harakawa, I mean, Ruta So anyway, that's Hisako Hiki. Um, this is a Ruta Sawa piece that I want people to uh, remember also because Ruth was a part of AWA as well. And um, so uh, since we're here, I'll just talk about my work here. And there's another one there. And, and anyway, so this is um, this is a piece called To Teresa, number one. It's for Teresa Hakun Cha, who was a classmate of mine at, at UC Berkeley. We were in the same MFA graduating class. There were eight of us. And um, two years after we graduated, she had moved to New York. She was um, brutally murdered. And so this was a, a memorial for her, uh, I think, in 1982. And um, this is evoking her, her, her spirit, which was very gentle. And um, um, the other, there's another little piece right next to it, which is a small piece that, uh, I mean, small piece that Teresa had sent me uh, from New York, just a postcard saying B-E-I-N-G-E. -E -E. And uh, Christina Hiromi Hobbs, who is the curator, uh, wanted to show that as well for the exhibit. So, no, I, I, I think we could go over here to this other painting of mine, if you don't mind moving over. <laughs> which is dependent visa <laughs> and uh, totally alone like you know me and my husband I have a very good partner <laughs> but still you need a community you need people uh, your own plan like you know to be part of and uh, I was looking for people like-minded people when I moved to San Francisco um, one of my mentor um, uh, Mil uh, Marianne Milford who was uh, working at Mills as a professor there she asked me to join Ava, and from then onwards, I never felt lonely. <laughs> I am such a good company, and always learn from all the fellow artists at Ava, and still feel always blessed whenever I am with them. Sherry and I worked as a board member for a long, long time, and learned from each other so much. This piece was done after a show called Eating Cultures. And uh, at that time, I was not well. And I wanted to make some small pieces. Otherwise, I do installations, like big installations, uh, which includes a lot of physical labor. But in this piece, I wanted to work small, small. Uh, and also, I was cleaning my house, cleaning my life in so many different ways, trying to uh, take an inward journey and see what I have, like where I am and who I am as a person. 
my connection to nature, my connection to people. And this was when I started looking at, uh, you know, in America after coming, like the tendency to become that capital I, start, you know, accumulating things. This is done on shelf liners, uh, which is recycled one. And, uh, and the title of the work is derived from a very ancient Sanskrit text, which is called Meghrutam. In this text, there is a demigod who is exiled. And in exile, through clouds, he sends messages to his beloved. And that was a, such a brilliant metaphor. You know, you can, you can cross borders, the clouds which are like, you know, they, they, they are not bound to any of these national boundaries. And they are also, they uh, shift shapes. They are, they morph, they become something else. Pretty much like us migrants, like, you know, who go from one place to another, uh, create connections. And so in this piece, I wanted like each cloud to take a message. Uh, for you know all these violence in name of nationality, religion, race, gender, like you know, so that we don't fight this much. This is this is really bad. And um, this is I would say ongoing piece. I have added numerous clouds. These pink clouds are new ones. And this is in honor to my Ava sisters. If you look closely, I have derived so much. Um, and one um, here, if you can see, this is for Lenore Chin. <laughs> uh, I have learned so much. Like, you know, I was embraced with open arms. Nancy is here, Lenore is here. I feel so privileged. Like, they never asked me who I am, from where I am coming, and like, you know, all these kind of questions. But with open arms. So here is Lenore Chin, Flo Oi, and Bong's work, which you know, I am very much inspired by. Uh, there is Betty. <laughs> Betty, if you can see your shirt uh, in here, and Hong Lu. And of course, like I have uh, things which are from my own environment where I live. There are chalk trees which I have printed. And, and I just see like, you know, uh, millions of dollars they take to plant trees and after a while they cut the trees and I just I just can't make sense of it. So everything which I can't make sense of it, it goes here. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying to understand. This is another piece uh, of a march to my heroes. One is Gulabi Gang from India, who are, uh, again, the government uh, don't, like they, they are, like, you know, they don't do enough to protect women. Uh, they, and they are capable. So they created their own gang. They wear pink saris. And wherever uh, domestic violence happens, they show up. Show up as a gang to protect that person. So, you know, a big, uh, <laughs> uh, what do you call it? Um, you know, say hey to them. Like, you know, hi. Like, you know, I want to be part of you. And then there is like about se women's sexuality. And my mother god is Kali or Shakti, whom I derive my, you know, power from. So this is all, you know, my work. And there is, um, each one of them have individual stories. Maybe if you can, you know, go further and try to decipher yourself. Um, it also presents a lot of uh, 
poets and, and uh, perform, uh, sometimes performing artists, but definitely poetry and literary arts. So I have flowers made of um, poems um, that I put, and they surround that. And on the first ring are the, um, um, some of the artists that are in AY, including Cynthia Tom, who was uh, the director for a long time, and uh, Lydia Degrall, um, and Kathy's work is in here too. So basically it's a, it's a vertical row, but I put little fists around there too, because AWA has presented uh, 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 some art that's um, uh, like the, the uh, Yuri Kochiyama show that um, speaks to activism. So all of this is about AWA. Uh, the little boats with the cute little appetizers is to honor the, the exhibitions that AWA has done around food. And um, the succulents, which I learned to make myself, <laughs> um, not knowing how to sew, but it's also to honor AWA's uh, commitment to, um, to talk about uh, the environment and the, um, uh, um, I guess the uh, plant life or um, I can't remember the specific shows, but there were several shows that called attention to, um, like sewing agency, uh, calling attention to uh, preserving the environment and to climate change and all that. And this this row um, here, which I, these are just loose pieces, and I see. to AWA's, uh, the people at AWA and also the, um, the, the exhibitions. I think I got almost all the exhibitions in here except for one super day glow orange piece that didn't seem to fit color-wise. Uh, but I, I really wanted to honor everybody at AWA. Uh, from the very beginning to now, and so I made sure that, you know, there are movers and shakers in here and also some young people. And um, because it's loose pieces, uh, it, it does get shoved around. Um, but um, you can see how the modular is created. It's not rocket science, but at the very end, I. I take all the pieces and I put them in little boxes and then they recreate into something new next time. But I always try to um, create something new for this one. So the succulents were the thing that's, that's brand new, and especially for AY. Um, anyway, the, I, 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 the, <coughs> the sponge cakes or the petite fours are really made of sponges <laughs> and felt. And I, I first premiered it at, at a, a big show about San Francisco, but in order, and that one was 12 feet, so I had to have hundreds of these. And uh, AWA members um, helped me make these creations. So it was, it was kind of a factory, you know, but what was nice about it is that the community would come together. All my mandalas, um, almost all my mandalas, are made with community participation so that I, I have people make the pieces and because I do that, then they feel ownership of the work. Um, so much so that um, when we made the little sushis that you see here, the rolled up kind, uh, we made that first for the Japantown mandala that was 10 feet. And Jill Shawaki is here and she knows about it. Um, but we made hundreds of them, just rolled up felt. But at the end of the run, when it was time to dismantle the mandala, 
Some community members came to me and said, you can't take away our mandolin. And so that's what it's all about. It's about, um, it's about community and artists working together to tell a story. That's, that's what it is. Thank you. Yeah, she was going to try and make it, but she's got a migraine, so she's not going to make it up. And this is the back. So she kind of took a place of her own, which my piece kind of started with, and she's taken that to a whole other program of, of arts and healing. And this is about uplifting um, her and other women's voices, especially women of color, and um, inspiring them. Yeah, she, took, she did a lot of organizing for a wall for a certain period especially under its underlying underlying women's struggles and women's issues and i think that that took a lot in a very distinct direction for a period of time and she has continued with it and it well has continued too many different ways slightly i want to point out um flo wong flo Roy wong who is a co-founder of the other co-founder she was an it she's traveling, I think. China, <laughs> Egypt, somewhere. <laughs> I don't really I can't remember about this. She was gonna could make, be here. And also this is um this is posthumous piece. Um Hanu was also part of AWA briefly and um, has gotten a lot of um, um, uh, recognition since she had passed about four years ago, I think. Yeah, yeah three years ago. Wants to say, this is from the collection of Flo, and this piece is actually gifted to her husband from okay. Hung to, uh, a, yeah. From Hung. From Hung to, to Flo's husband. Flo's. Yeah. yeah. So, if, are there some questions? or um, comments that um, you want to uh, ask? Well, if you have any, feel free to. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Anything? Oh, okay. Does Lucy arrive? No. Nope. So, what do you want to represent? I'm sorry? What do you want to represent? They are, well, they're from, inspired by those um, balls that Temari, Temari jacket, um, what do you call it, traditional art form. And her, her art form, and she does a lot of stitching, and that's... Sashiko. Yeah, Sashiko, oh, yeah. and combining those. And then I think my understanding is that they, these have to do with kind of the world and looking inner deep and how we have all connection. I believe the goal is a referring to King Kikiko. The uh, uh, use of gold to repair oh, yeah. 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 I, I'm not sure about that. So Lucy references Japanese crafts extensively and uh, based on her psychology uh, period. And she did dining. A lot of parts of this are based on this. Uh, uh, Japanese traditional craft wear, and then she's made it bigger and bigger in terms of tamari. You see these balls that are colorful, and they're uh, uh, made out of uh, colored string wrapped, and you know, they're very decorative. This is her interpretation of that in her own work, right? Mm -hmm. There's, her, let me see. Which, There's are three pieces. tiny birdie spin pieces over there. Who's, those three, the, the, the those three. three are hers, and then there's a painting on the other yeah. side of the wall. Yeah. yeah, yeah, she did that toward the end of her life. They're kind of like studies, very small compared to her, the ones that we're probably more familiar with. Yeah, there's a piece of hers on the other, a painting on the other wall, on the opposite side. Yeah, you just want to come around and see these yeah. So, 
slow. You could, I mean, uh, Lenore, yeah, that's, I don't know a lot about that particular one, but that's probably more typical of uh, some of the ones that she did in. Yes. Bernice Bing was a very important yeah. art organizer in San Francisco, and uh, she was a friend of Joan Brown. She went to San Francisco Art Institute and um, was one of the first directors of South and Market um, Cultural Center. And then she had to go to Philo, California, and, and sort of get away from San Francisco for, for health reasons. And um, she built herself a studio and a wonderful place in Philo that uh, hosted people for overnight, you know, mm -hmm. events and things like that. So she did a lot of painting there. And, um, what I read, what I read yesterday about this um, piece is that it was a, done around the time of founding of AWA, 1989, oh, yeah, whatever, yeah. early on, and then it was exhibited in some of the early AWA shows, and then I think it somehow got into a collection or kind of disappeared for years, and more recently came back to um, to this day. Yeah, that's and my understanding. And in the, and so in the last couple of years, uh, the Asian Art Museum uh, was able to include a lot of her work in their uh, contemporary art collection. So, you know. It was an exhibit, yeah. uh, Bernice Bing exhibit at the Asian Art Museum. It was a kind of a solo exhibit in mm -hmm. the gallery there, which included notes that Bernice had at, in, a, in a vitrine that talked about AWOL uh -huh. and her own uh, interest in AWOL that, that she wrote in a notebook. And so uh, several people actually remarked on the, on the notes that they read in that exhibit. Yeah. Yeah. And, and is that part of this one? Oh, yeah. Uh, these are some of her notes. notes. Well, so I don't know if you know about Bernice Bean. But um, she is an important artist from the Bay Area who uh, uh, impacted the art, uh, art scene it, with her work and her organizing and uh, her teaching. Actually, taught that she was a real leader in the arts community. So that's why um, and really became a good friend of many people mm -hmm. in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is it still up? What? I don't think so. Do you know whether it's still up? Or